Hello, Rambler fans, and welcome to the May edition of the Super Tennis Corner with Scott Aikum. This is Gary Vanna, joined by Mr. Aikum. How are you doing here? I'm doing well. How are you, Mr. Vanna? Well, the sun is out, and it's beautiful time of year. It's nice to ride bike into school and just enjoy the beautiful weather yeah. and uh, wrapping things up here. And boy, is it going to come fast here. Yeah, we jumped right from winter to summer, it seems like, this week. That's what they said. <laughs> so we have um, seniors wrapping things up. Do you have um, important dates that you're aware of, or can you see that far? <laughs> I can see that far, yes. We have baccalaureate coming up on uh, May 22nd um, and graduation on May 27th, that okay. Friday. So baccalaureate's at 3 p.m. It'll be in the auditorium. Music will be led by Justin Sluter. The, the um, dedication of the Bible verse will be by Pastor Kathy Vanna, and Pastor Dirk Cucci will be doing the message. It's going to be pretty fun because it's going to have a band made up of high school seniors themselves with Justin Sluter, so that would be pretty cool. And then at 7 o'clock that Friday night, it's the big graduation that will be held in the gymnasium. Um, you want to get here early. It's uh, unlimited seating, which means that you do not have to have a ticket to sh come and show up. We do ask you save the chairs on the floor for parents or for the people that can't climb up the bleachers, but everybody's welcome to come for the graduation of the class of 20. 22. Well, so with that coming up, the, very shortly after that is the end of school, but it's not what we originally planned. It's changed a little bit, right? It has. The original uh, last day of school uh, was Friday, June 3rd, uh, but because of the snow days and power outage days and ice days and volleyball tournament, um, our last day of school is going to be June 8th, uh, which is a Wednesday. So June 7th and June 8th will be half days of school. Okay. Um, on the calendar currently it says June 2nd and 3rd are half days. Those will become full days and they just get shifted down. down. So the half days get pushed down the line. Yes, thank you. So we are now going until June 8th and that will be exam week for the high school and the middle school. So those are kind of important to be here for because that's when the exams will be taking care of anything going on, you're going to have to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row with your calendar and summer vacation plans with the change of that date. So next I see on our list is a wellness clinic. What's that about? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, this past spring we applied for a, a uh, adolescent wellness clinic, a health clinic with the health department, uh, a grant for that. And I found out yesterday afternoon that we were awarded the grant. Um, so McBain Schools next year will have a school nurse uh, on property as well as a licensed mm -hmm. counselor will be here on property um, all day. Uh, we sent a survey out to parents in the community earlier this year um, and had good results. Um, there was a high interest uh, in having a clinic here. Uh, so very excited. I've worked with the school clinics in the, in the past um, and they're very beneficial to our students. Well, that's pretty exciting to have uh, in-house medical care for our kids as well as um, emotional care. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to teach a well-rounded student and treat all a well-rounded student. Absolutely. Excellent there. So little blessings, not little blessings, that's the wrong one, little wheels. <laughs> little wheels is uh, up and running and what was your evaluation of the first year? Uh, it went really well for our first year. Um, we started with four classrooms. Uh, we did end up with three classrooms. We kind of combined uh, two classrooms into one, which made it more of a, a better preschool experience for the kids. Um, we were also able to uh, receive the Great Start Readiness Program, uh, which is a state-funded program uh, for, for preschool. Uh, so we were excited to have that. The one hiccup that I always heard about and, and concerns was the playground. Um, so one of the things that we're planning on doing this summer is expanding the playground. I don't know if you've seen the fenced-in area over there. It's, it's not very big. It's on no. a hill. Um, not very conducive for a playground. Uh, so the board approved last night to order some playground equipment and to expand that out, um, as well as putting in a new drive for our traffic flow um, over there. So we'll be expanding to the north. So we're excited about that and excited about uh, giving the, the uh, little, wheel, little wheelies um, uh, place to play. So um, what do the numbers look like for next year on Little, little Wheels? Or since it's a year yeah. round, is a little bit different? Or Yeah, so we're starting uh, enrollments now. Enrollments oh. are coming in now. Um, we also will have summer programming out there for, for preschool as well as K through 5 um, throughout the summer. Oh. So 
<coughs> kind of a latchkey program for that. So, you know, your first year you always uh, you, you figure out different things and, and different avenues and you, things come up that you never even thought of. So we definitely learned this year. Uh, Mr. Knapp did a nice job of getting it started and launching and Mrs. Vandervucht as well, um, as well as being the director there. Well, excellent. So with the expansion of that, that's going to cost some money. Money leads into budget. What is our state budget looking like? Yeah, so uh, it's still being negotiated. Um, so it's looking good. The House and the Senate um, and the governor um, all did put some extra monies towards schools, um, which we're very pleased about. Um, we can do a lot more for our kids with, with some additional funding. And not only did they look at the per pupil allocations, but they looked at uh, mental health allocations um, and categoricals for that. But we may not have a budget until we have to have our budget approved by the board. We have to have our budget approved by June 30th. That's, that's state requirement. Right. Um, so um, we'll be closing out this school year um, and then proposing a budget for next school year. We may have some line items this school year that um, uh, are a little higher in expenses than what we had anticipated for. We, we've had to have some major bus repairs this year. Um, we have an aging bus fleet. Um, and as your buses get older, they need they need more uh, mechanical and more re more repairs. Um, yep. So I, I know that that will come in a little higher than we anticipated. Um, but yeah, we're excited to see the budget. We're excited to see the state finally acknowledging that, that schools need additional funding. Well, that's fantastic news, and that is a what's best for our kids to support all programs and stuff. Absolutely, like that. So. Did you still want to talk more about the bus fleet, or is that basically what you wanted to... That's what I wanted to All right. Over, yeah. So, the magic date is June 30th for the budget, correct? Correct. July 1st is a new... Starts... Act, and July 1st, you get new two new teachers on the books. Mm-hmm. Yep, so, yep, so schools end June 30th as far as budget. New fiscal year starts July 1. Um, and we've had two uh, new hires this year. Um, we were able to hire uh, Taylor Schonert, who um, was a McBain graduate. Uh, she just graduated college with a special education certification, so we've hired her for a uh, special education teacher. And then we've also hired uh, Megan Watkins, um, who I believe was Megan Vandervlucht. Yes. Um, I think she was a 2010 graduate uh, from McBain, um, and, and she has been teaching down in the Niles area. And we'll be coming back up uh, to be closer to family. And we've actually hired her for our high school counselor position. Um, as many of you know, Mrs. Pod said and her family are relocating out of state, uh, which opened up that position. And we're gonna we're gonna miss Miss Pod said greatly. Yeah. Um, but excited about having uh, Miss Watkins come on and and help us continue to steer the ship. Well, that's great news for our community. Those are two very deeply invested kids in our community and I think about that and I'm just thinking our last three hires are all McBain graduates if you include Melanie Schmidt mm -hmm. in there also so you know it's great for the uh, uh, say something about the school when the kids leave actually want to come back and work and continue to keep the legacy of the school going absolutely on. it says a lot about the district and a lot about the community Wow that's exciting news and this is going to be the wrap-up we'll do one more in June mm -hmm. sounds good Right at the end of the year. So this is Gary Vanna. Scott Aikum. Feel the wheel.